Every year at this time we see a new car and it's an exciting moment for every one of us in the team. A lot of people have been working, they're building up during the course of last year. Through the winter, immense effort from everyone and then you launch a car. Uh, it's, a, it's a really exciting moment. You, begin, you become very proud of what's being done, become very excited about what's going ahead of us um, and you realise uh, how you've improved last year's car. So naturally, you're optimistic. Uh, we don't know what anyone else is doing at the moment, so who knows, but uh, I think we're confident that we've made a step forward. Uh, I think the car looks uh, really great, and uh, I think the whole team's really excited to getting through uh, three tests, uh, but really actually excited about going to Australia. We're in a period of stable regulations, so inevitably from one year to another, the cars are broadly the same. I think we had what was acknowledged as the best looking car last year. Uh, it was also the car that we were quickest at the beginning of the year, we were quickest at the end and a few times in between as well. So it was a season that perhaps we didn't realise everything we should have done. But we're looking at this year's car. It's very tempting given that you finish a season with the quickest car to not change anything. It's very tempting to then just develop that. Uh, I think we've taken the right balance of trying to keep some of the good features but actually make quite a lot of changes so both the front and rear suspension systems are, are very different and those heights very different the side pod treatments quite different so to to us uh, and the engineers it looks like a very different car uh, we're very fortunate to have a carryover of substantially all the same partners at Vodafone, McLaren, Mercedes. So, you know, superficially and from a coloration point of view, the car looks the same. But it's, it is quite a lot different. There's been quite an interesting challenge to make sure that you change the car that much uh, and, and then make progress to ensure that the car is actually quicker than the one you're replacing. McLaren goes into every year. We're looking to win races and to win championships. And uh, we've won more Grand Prix than any other team. Uh, we've won you know, more than 25% of every Grand Prix. So the standard is high. The expectation is phenomenal. and We expect to win. Uh, to come out of last year uh, having fallen away, having, having had a car that was quickest on many occasions, but not really to have maximised the points, not to have achieved what we should have done, was quite frustrating for us. That increases our motivation. Uh, we go into this year, we know nowadays it's going to be very close, it's very tight, there's some good, well-funded teams there. The regulations are relatively stable. I suspect that no one's going to run away with this. It's going to be a championship where you've got to continue to develop, you've got to start strong, you've got to be consistent, you've got to avoid mistakes, you've got to maximise the points that you can get. And if you can do all of those things, then uh, there's no reason why we can't win both world championships in 2013. Today we've seen the launch car, which is, uh, we think, quite exciting. Uh, that will go and have some aerodynamic testing in the next few days. We then go to Jerez uh, next week for the first test. We have two further tests, both in Barcelona week eight, week nine. And during those tests, the cars will evolve. So indeed, even by the time we get to Barcelona, the car will look different from the car that we've seen today. That's the nature of Formula One. That's the speed with which we develop the car. Um, and then even from that last test, uh, I would expect us to continue to develop the car such that the car we have in Australia is different and improved yet again. Uh, and that will continue through the whole of the season. And that's tremendously exciting, uh, part of the sport for all of us that work in it, seeing how much we can improve the, the car from through those initial tests to the first race and then every subsequent race we expect to improve the car. So there's a race between the races for everyone here uh, it working, working hard in the McLaren Technology Centre. We're celebrating this year McLaren's 50th anniversary. I think that will surprise a lot of people that the company has been around as long as it has been. And the parade of cars that we saw at the beginning of today's launch was uh, really some absolutely stunning cars from the Can-Am car that led its way through uh, to Emerson Fittipaldi's Formula One car. Uh, and then through to cars of, driven by Lewis Hamilton and Nika Hakkinen to win world championships, a Le Mans winning car in the middle of that as well. So the variety uh, of this team, the depth, uh, will surprise, I think, a lot of people. Um, but uh, as I think I said earlier, we have, since we went into Formula 1 racing, we've won more races, more than any other team. Uh, that's a, a win rate of more than 25% of all of the races since we started in Formula 1. Uh, that 
comes that, that develops a certain amount of expectation, a certain amount of pressure, uh, and that's something we're, we're proud of, and, and uh, we've got to make sure we have an even higher hit rate this year and, and make sure we win plenty of races and world championships.